Hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week. And there are some very cool announcements to tell you about this week, including the new VPC resource map that enables you to visualize the architecture of your VPC. Elasticash for Redis 7 now supports enhanced IO multiplexing. And the first new Graviton 3 based instance types have been released. You're watching AWS This Week with me, Faye Ellis. This week saw the launch of the new VPC resource map, which is a great new feature that enables you to visualize the architecture of your VPC. With resource map, you can quickly understand the architectural layout of your VPC, including the number of subnets or their connections, which subnets are associated with your public root table, and which root tables have routes to an internet gateway, all in one single diagram. Resource Map makes it really easy to identify any undesirable configurations, and you can even select components within the diagram to navigate directly to a particular resource in order to update the configuration. Elasticash for Redis 7 now includes enhanced IO multiplexing. And if you haven't used Elasticache before, it's an in-memory key value data store, which is used to accelerate application and database performance by caching frequently accessed data in memory and with sub millisecond response times. And with this new announcement, Elasticache for Redis 7 now includes enhanced IO multiplexing, which is a great new feature that delivers up to a 72% increase in read and write operations per second, and up to a 71% decrease in latency compared with the previous version. And the really great thing about this announcement is that it's enabled automatically when using Elasticash for Redis 7 and at no additional cost. And finally, AWS have released the very first Graviton 3 based instance types. And of course, Graviton 3 processors are the latest in the AWS Graviton processor family. And they're designed to deliver the best price performance for EC2 workloads. And Graviton 3 gives you up to a 25% better compute performance and up to three times faster CPU-based machine learning performance than the previous generation. And it's particularly suitable for high-performance computing in the cloud. So first of all, they've announced the C7G Metal instances, which are designed for applications that cannot run in a virtualized environment and require direct access to bare metal infrastructure. There's also the new M7G instances, which are suitable for general purpose workloads like application servers, microservices, gaming servers, and databases. And then finally, there's the new R7G instances, which are designed for memory intensive workloads like in-memory caches and real-time big data analytics. Well, that's all for this week. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus. Take care of yourselves, and I'll look forward to seeing you soon.